very orderly, Malami may lose senior advocate of Nigeria rank, stopped from practicing, says NBA. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Mr. Kwasa says that any NBA member involved in the invasion of the residence of Justice Mary Odele would not be spared from sanctions. Now the news in detail. The Nigerian Bar Association, NBA, says any lawyer, including Attorney General Abubakar Malami, found culpable in the invasion of a Supreme Court, Justice Mary Odele's residence, will face stiff sanctions. The lawyer's body gave the stance on Friday at a press conference addressed by its president, Olumide Akpata, describing the failed raid as an assault on the judiciary. Reminiscent of how former Chief Justice of Nigeria, Walton Anoha, was renewed from office. The NBA rejected the investigative panel set up by Malami on the matter on grounds. The Attorney General definitely has questions to answer and therefore not subject himself to a panel that is set up. Instead, the body demanded that an independent panel involving a judicial officer and the NBA be set up by President Muhammad Buhari because there is a dark cloud hanging and all fingers are pointing at the executive as being behind this action. The NBA vowed that if it is established that Mr. Malami gave the instruction for the attack on Justice Odeli's home, then he will be dragged before disciplinary committees of legal practitioners and could lose all his rights as a lawyer. If the Attorney General is found culpable, then, as a lawyer, we will take him before the Legal Practitioners Disciplinary Committee and the Legal Practitioners Privileges Committee, because, if needed, he is found to have given the directives that led to the invasion of a home of a justice of the Supreme Court, then he is not fit to hold the office he occupies presently and continue to be recipient of the privileges the profession has accorded him, Mr. Apata explained. He can be stopped from practicing law. What does the LPPC do, amongst others? The LPPC can strip him of a rank of senior advocate of Nigeria, and also the body of benchers can reconsider his life membership of that body. So, without mincing words, those are the steps that the NBA can take, he declared further. Mr. Apata emphasized that any NBA member involved in the invasion would not be spared. He said in the events that we find out, that any lawyer was involved in this unfortunate incident, that lawyer will be subjected to our disciplinary mechanisms and that lawyer will definitely face the music. Furthermore, he noted that the magistrate who issued the such warrant on the home of a justice must also be probed. Questions must be asked of the quality and sufficiency of the materials placed before his worship before issuing the search warrant in the first place. The NBA National Executive Council believes that even on the cautionary region of a materials placed before his worship, there is a prima facie in the evidence that a such warrant ought not to have been issued in the circumstance, Mr. Apata said. Security agents, including the police and the anti graft agency EFCC operatives, swooped on the residence of Mrs. Orderly on October 29th, brandishing the search warrant obtained from Chief Magistrate Emmanuel Iyana of the Yuse Zone Magistrate Court. The justice resisted the invasion on the grounds that she had no business with EFCC and the warrant was not for her address. Mr. Iyana has since revoked the warrant, claiming that he was conned into signing the warrant by officials from Mr. Malami's Justice Ministry. The Attorney General denies knowledge of the operation, a claim many believe is a mere deflection after a failed incursion. Wow, wow, wow. This is, um, all I say, like a breath of fresh air news. Sincerely, I miss the bass bulls, the anambras issue going on here and there, and you know, many heart wrenching stories. This one is a breath of fresh air that indeed justice is going to be served. As in, this is what, this is what Nigerians need. A crime, you commit a crime, you face the law, no matter your rank. I mean, democracy should be embraced with all its fullness. We should not be, we should not be practicing democracy that is half-baked. There should be true democracy. There should also be true rule of law. The law is not below anyone. It is high above everybody. And so, everyone is subjected to the law once you go against it it should not be only um the masses the law is not made for the masses alone 
So this particular news is like, for once, let's get things right. It is going to be like a breath of fresh air. If those involved are sanctioned, it will be a lesson to those who would want to play such pranks come next time that they better watch their back else they are also going to be san uh, sanctioned in the same way the perpetrators of this one will do. I just hope at the end of the day we will not hear any story about the case being swept under the carpet because this one is a very huge one. Imagine assigning a, a court warrant or such warrant to the house of a sitting supreme judge. Like, where does it happen? <laughs> where does it happen without any crime, without any need for whistleblowing, nothing? And uh, you come and say you're not involved or you say, first of all, the search warrant you signed, you account. A lot of, there are lots of, you know, fishy, fishy comments and fishy, fishy looking uh, um, things. But I pray at the end of the day, justice is served and um, the innocent is vindicated. Okay. Do you need an online poll to kickstart the process? This Balame guy has desecrated the altar of justice in that contra contraction called Nigeria. Uh, well, sister, sister, um, to be very frank with you, I'm not uh, um, trying to be biased, but this particular man has, he has been found wanting on many occasions. Sincerely, he has been found wanting. He is the attorney general of the federation, but in some of his statements and some things he does, he does not seem to, like, realize that that particular name, attorney general of the federation, that it means that he's the lawyer of Nigeria, meaning he's not supposed to be siding some people are living some. Nigeria is an entity. Nigeria is not somebody's private house or private business. So if you're going to sit in that position, you must be neutral on all grounds. And he has not been. Of late, you can see prejudice written all over whatever he says and whatever he does. So I just hope that uh, the guilty is made to face the law. And of course, the innocent is, um, you know, is set free and vindicated. So... You cannot humiliate a Supreme Court justice in this manner, then cover it up with a petty lie. Are we in 1901? The impunity of this federal government is alarming. Is it because she's a Southerner? Somebody must pay for this nonsense. You should not wonder why the judiciary is in a mess today and why EFCC and DSS still kidnaps Supreme Court justices. Nigeria is a country where Boko Haram kidnaps, Fulani Hetzman kidnaps. Bandits kidnaps, DSS kidnaps, EFCC kidnaps, federal government, oh my goodness, kidnaps. So my question is then, who are the real terrorists? Fellow was right. You talk, say, they say to you, they say you, 